Hello everyone and welcome to Food to Books. If you guys remember, this little guy here is Tito. He's so big now. He's huge and very impatient with his mother and is like, let go of me. I, I can't stand being next to you for more than five minutes, especially in the public. That's my cat right now. At least we still have Lily, who's just so sweet and so caring. Excuse me while I open the door to Tito, who is about to destroy my entire office. Okay, I'm back. And I know if you are a, if you are an avid subscriber and you actually look forward to my videos, I am sorry for not posting anything in a week and a half. If you are just a, oh, she posted again. Great, great. Cause you can see that I posted again. <laughs> But I am sorry about not posting if you do look forward to my videos or if you just like watching me in the background. January got hectic. It got real busy for me. I applied to university to finish my bachelor's degree. I did my FAFSA, which was, I hate it. <laughs> I started full time in January, as some of you might know, and it's been real hectic. And I just have to figure out how to do scheduling because I still want to do YouTube. I really enjoy it. I just have to get motivation and time and, you know, like I've been reading, so that's not a problem now, but it's just getting these videos out to you guys. So what I think the plan is for February is to maybe not post this weekend, just give you the two videos, which this video is going to be the January wrap up, by the way. Sorry, I didn't mention anything, but I'm going to not post anything this weekend and yes, record a bunch of videos I want to produce for you guys and then have a schedule out for them which will which is what people do and it's smart because it makes it easier and not as crazy as what I'm doing right now which is record edit and post record edit and post and if I don't have anything recorded or edited I can't post anything so I think I'm gonna take the weekend to record a couple videos and have them scheduled out for the following weeks and have that in the back just in case anything happens so yeah that's the plan anyway let's start this video <laughs> This video is going to be my January wrap up and I'm super excited to do this because I read I read three books and I either then I didn't hate anything I just then thoroughly enjoy or There was no five star reads this month and I know it can happen a lot But you know sometimes sometimes I just get very hopeful. All right So the first book I read this month suicide notes by Michael Thomas Ford. I basically did a review on this for my last video, I talked about it a little bit. It's an okay book. I think I gave it 3.5 or 4 stars. I honestly don't remember any of my reviews for any of my books. So, sorry. It was an okay book. It was, it's for a certain type of person, you know? If you know you get offended easily or you're sensitive to this type of material, which you can kind of assume by the, because this is very literal right here, this. This word right here is very literal in this book. So caution on that. If you know you're very sensitive to that, I wouldn't recommend it. This book, it's not nice to people with mental illness. Um, and not the author. This is not about the author. This is about the character. The character is a 15 year old boy with no filter and very, very judgmental thoughts. He just found out he was gay and now Life doesn't make sense and everyone sucks. He's perfect. Everyone is at fault. And it takes place 45 days in a mental institute, eight chapters a day. It is very, I say read the first chapter, tread carefully. Other than that, it's very entertaining. I picked this book up because it reminded me of it's kind of a funny story, just the themes of it. Um, This is my all time favorite book. I had to get a new copy. I don't know what happened to my original copy. I had a bunch of notes in it. This book is, it got my feels and it's still, I hold it dearly to my heart. So I picked this up just because of that. Um, it, this is a five star read to me just because it's sentimental. It would probably be four stars if it wasn't sentimental, but definitely not the same, kind of the same. I don't know what I'm talking about. So that's all I got to say. Then I read and I completed on my new Kindle, by the way, The Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchinson. And it's an entertaining story. It's supposed to be a thriller mystery, I think. I don't read thriller mysteries, so I'm not gonna review it based on that. All I know is that 
most people don't like it because it's not a good thriller, I guess, or a good mystery. It's entertaining. I finished it. I, it kept me locked in with it sometimes, but it's also a good book that I could get lost in, but also not worry about if I didn't finish a chapter or something. But yeah, I think I gave that one a three stars. I, I honestly don't remember. I'm so sorry. The final book I read and finished in January was Milk and Honey. I've mentioned this before, I'm not a big poetry person, so I'm not gonna review it based on how they wrote the poetry, how they, you know, all the technicalities. It got me good. This book almost had me crying in some of the poems. It was emotional. It was an emotional roller coaster. And I am so sorry for ever thinking that this book was just for basic people in high school. Because it's not. It got me. It was very, really, really well put together and the illustrations went well with every single poem that they were with. Four stars, I think? Five stars? I don't remember. It was really good. If you like poetry, read it. If you don't like poetry, read it. If you're an emotional kind of person, read it. If you're not an emotional kind of person, you probably won't like it, especially if you're not a poetry person, you know? And I didn't finish this book, but I did start it, so this is gonna go my February TBR. But yes, to put it out there, I love short stories. I'm super, super, oh, I don't know, I just really like this book. So I only read the first chapter in the first story in January. What I figured out so far about this book is that food is either a part of a character or a comfort to that character or it means something really, really big to that character, either family or love or friendship or themselves, because food might be what they are, but also comfort for a lot of people. It gives them strength to do some stuff. I'm only on the fourth story, no, fifth story. I'm starting the fifth story and it is amazing. I love this book so far. I also just love how cute this map is in the front of the book. I don't know, everything about this book is calling out to me so yeah that was my january tbr um i didn't read a lot but i definitely read more than usual also i have not read the red queen by christina henry so like i said when i added this to my january tbr this will continue to my february tbr until i get to it i'm not feeling it so maybe it might not even be read in february we will see <laughs> anyway that's all i have for you guys I will be posting the February TBR right after this one, so look out for it. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for sticking with me, and I will see you again next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment about anything. Comment about your week. How's your week going? What's happening in 2020 for you guys? It's already February. That's crazy. Anyway, love you. Bye.